So this is my last time with the FRS. Wasn't expecting to do this today, but uh, this is gonna be the new whip. So what is going on guys? It is your boy RJ and I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the title of the video, I sold the FRS, or actually in the beginning of the video, I sold the FRS and I traded it in for a car I have been wanting even since before I got the FRS. Go back to about 2000, when did we come out? 2000, 2009. Uh, and this is when the fourth Fast and Furious movie came out. And if you guys know the movie, um, you know that there is a silver or black silver with red trim STI hatch in that movie. From that point forward, I've always liked like STIs. I mean, even before then, like when I see like blob buys or even hot guys, I'm like, whoa, what car is that? Like that car sounds good, it looks good, blah blah blah. What is that big ass wing on it? Yeah, flashing a little bit forward to when I got my FRS. I was actually wanting to get a regular WRX, the FA20, like VA chassis. Um, I just wanted to get one of those, mainly because of Dustin William. I saw his videos, really wanted one. Still didn't mind an FRS B or Z, just because TJ Hunt had one, and also like, I don't know, something about that car still, like, I just really liked it. A little bit later, back in 2019, that's when I first got the FRS, and that car was the first car I ever bought. It was the first car I ever modded. I did stuff with it. I really, really connected with it. that car. It was also my first manual car too. I really loved that car, especially the way it drives, your driving position, your, the, the, whole, the entire car was really great. However, when I came, to, I live in the Pacific Northwest and it doesn't always snow here, but when it does snow and it rains, kind of need it. Yes, I know, tires can make a difference. I had some Toyo Proxy 4s, which aren't bad, but um, but there is still just something missing. I also wanted four doors again. Like having a two door car is fun and all, but I think if it's your secondary car, it's fine. When it's your primary car, me personally, I just feel like I need, I, I want four doors more just to, I mean, yes, I'm driving alone most of the time, but just having the convenience of a four door, especially when you fit stuff in, is nice. I also just, I, if you guys know, back then I used to have a 530i. I got in the habit of just throwing stuff in the back seat or just throwing my stuff in the back seat instead of actually using the trunk. I love the FRS and everything, but there was something that was still just missing and at that point, and I was like, you know what? Especially after driving my friend's WRX, I wanted to get a WRX. And nothing's wrong with those cars. However, there was always a part of me that wanted the STI. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't we just get the STI? Like, what's the point of making it? getting a WRX and then getting an STI? And on top of that, they're not even making STIs anymore. With my new job opportunity and everything, a opportunity came up and here she is. This is my 2016 Subaru WRX STI. So like I said, this car is pretty damn low miles. It only has like 30, 000, like actually less than 30,000 miles. I got it for a really spanking deal. Um, and it's in white. It's the color that I always wanted. Yes, I wanted the World Rally Blue Pearl, but something about the white, I just, especially like, with the wing and this this area right here i just love the white better um because of the good wheels um or i mean i think all this gen sti came with these wheels and then there's the ones that came with like the uh, bbs type wheels i'm not sure if these are bbs's if i'm wrong correct me um did come with a couple of little things um obviously this is all tinted out i think this is a tint yeah this is a tint it's, you can still kind of see it but doesn't bother me much all led lights i think they're by xenon i'm not too sure but i can see really clearly it has fog lights there was a little pinstripe here i don't know if you guys could tell in the beginning of the video there's a pin like a red pinstripe but i took that off because like my opinion just tacky came with little logos which i'm also going to swap out just because i think there's just too much red going on i'm kind of done with the red look front bumper is a since it's a 2016 and not a 2018 now it doesn't come with like the more aggressive one I personally don't mind this. Yes, I do think the 2018 does look better. That being said, with a front lip, I kind of like it better just because it has more of a JDM vibe, but the other bumper alone looks better. 
also it came with some black badges but uh it's kind of fading right now uh the red is so i might swap these out get some new ones uh i kind of want to get some like black and white logos for that because uh, i don't like the chrome uh i might stick with red i might not just because it is an sti or actually i want to try to get the pink like a black and the sti pink That'd be cool, I think. As you can tell, it came with taillight tints, which is fine, which is perfectly fine. I was gonna do this anyway, so it's a good thing that these are already here. Uh, this was a license plate frame I actually had for my old car, so I just threw that back on. Um, of course, STI logo. And as well as, it comes with a fourth brake light already installed. I'm not sure which one this is. I think it's, it's not the Subi Speed one. I could be wrong. But uh, for some reason, the, the blinker doesn't pop up. I don't know if there's a switch or I have to do like the five brake pedal test thing. But um, yeah, I want to figure that out because it only lights up around the perimeter when I'm braking. Other than that, it is completely stock, uh, stock ride height. Do need to also swap out these tires. Not that they're bad tires. Again, I live in the Pacific Northwest and having these uh, general, or sorry, Dunlop, whatever sport max tires is not really a smart thing going inside i'm not gonna go do wide angle just because it looks kind of uh noisy but uh yeah going into the interior super clean it is pushed to start which is one of the main things i was looking for so if i lock the car you know i gotta just tap here and it locks and then when i un want to unlock it just put my hand there and bring it out but yeah, super nice seats. No Recaros, but that's fine. I, yeah, it would have been cool to have them, but honestly, these seats are really comfortable. Like them, got a little couple crummies. Um, my only thing in the beginning was that I kept hitting, since with my FRS, there's no arm like armrest like that. Now that I have one in the beginning, I kept hitting my elbow here. But uh, now, uh, I kind of got used to it. I just kind of just rest my arm here, just because I was so used with the FRS, just up here. But now that this is down here, this shift knob feels so much more tinier than the racing one that I had, which I am definitely going to replace this. I don't know if I'll sell this, but definitely going to replace this. Other than that, interior is pretty clean. Uh, shifts are pretty... I don't know if this, is, if this is an STI short shift or not, but the shifts are pretty damn short. Like, even shorter than my FRS, even though that one didn't have a short shifter. I can literally just pop it in a gear there and it does have a backup camera um but uh yeah i also think about replacing this i don't know if any of you guys know but replacing these are freaking expensive like, i thought it'd be like 50 bucks or something but 100 bucks for this little piano black piece to replace i don't know if it's worth it if someone has one lying around let me know because not that 100 bucks is too crazy expensive but for what it is i don't think it's worth 100 bucks in my personal opinion um, other than that, really clean. Has the carbon fiber, or I actually don't know. But I think this is real. I think. I think it is. I could be wrong. It looks like there's weaves. So, um, other than that. Other than that, like I said, pretty stock. Uh, dry, just still kind of getting used to the car. Another thing I really, 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 really need to do is get a new damn exhaust. This is a stock exhaust and coming from my FRS that had the unequal length headers and video into, I can't hear a damn thing out of this car. Yeah, I'm just literally like trying to hear the engine, the revs and whatnot, but I need an exhaust so bad. It needs one to like sound, it. I, I hate it. I hate the stock exhaust. So that is probably gonna be the first big mod I'm gonna do as soon as possible because I can't stand the stock exhaust. I want to hear the Subi rumble. That's one of the reasons why I bought the car. So, yeah. Another reason why I actually like the white better is also it hides dirt a lot better. Um, so, I mean, obviously, from this distance, you can't tell that it's actually really, it's actually not super dirty because it's last week when I got it. That's when I got it, but yeah, it just white hides dirt so much easier. I mean, of course, the dark gray, the one that I had, hides dirt a lot better, but, uh, yeah, uh, another reason I just love this white color. Looks so dope, so clean. I am really, it still doesn't feel real that I have this car at all. Like, it's, it's kind of, it's slowly sinking in just now, 
but it's just I you know I worked my ass off for this shit and I, I, I'm proud I'm so happy with this car should I have gotten a 2019 up for the uh, with the what do you call it with the RA motor sure but with the price this was I could not pass up on this so yep this is a 2016 STI we'll have more driving clips in another video but just wanted to put this out there that the FRS is gone unfortunately but something better in my opinion is replacing it sure if I could have an STI and my actually or a GR86 in particular that'd be cool but that that'd be later on down the road this will be my daily driver for a very 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 long time I hope I, I don't see myself getting rid of this car at all I'm very happy with it hope you guys enjoyed the video um it's gonna be like i said real quick video nothing too much but hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video please leave a like comment and subscribe uh i will have a more planned list for this uh yeah more of a planned video in another video that makes sense so yeah hope you guys have a good day it is actually thanksgiving today so happy holidays and I'll catch you guys in the next video.